Sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin an introduction for mathematical language and symbol. Okay, by the way, what is language? Language is a systematic way of communication with other people use of sound or convention symbols. Language is a system of words used in particular discipline. It is also a system of abstracts codes which represent antecedent events and concept and arranged in ordered sequence to form words. So what are the importance of language? Language was invented to communicate ideas to others, meaning it is to transmit information, to understand the express ideas, to acquire knowledge or information, and to construct social identity. And also, lang the language of mathematics design is was designed so we can write the numbers, write into sets, and write in function. And also, we can represent and perform operation the addition the four fundamental operation the addition subtraction multiplication and division symbols commonly used in mathematics okay we are using this the 10 digits the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so dapat alam niyo na yan Operation, so we are using this operation for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And for sets, we are using this for intersection, union, subset, and superset. Variables, so variables we can represent any letter, but we open use X and Y. Special symbol like equals, great, less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, pi. At ang marami pang special symbols na ginagamit sa mathematics. Logic symbols like this is represented for not. Ito naman, conjunction. Ito, disjunction. Ito ay nire-represent natin sa... Uh, if and then. Ito naman sa if and only if. No? Ito representation sa logic. Set notation. So, capital letter N. Re-represent natin as natural numbers. W, that's for whole numbers. In Z, for integers. Q, for rational numbers. R, for real numbers. And C, for complex numbers. So, this is only a representation. Okay. Some important sets are the following. So, kapag nakita nyo yung N na symbol, that is a set of natural numbers. O tinatawag din natin counting numbers. So, ano ba yung mga yan? So, ang set of natural numbers nagsisimula lagi sa 1. Ang, uh, nagsisimula lagi sa 1. W, that is a whole number, set of whole numbers. So, kapag whole numbers naman, nag start tayo sa 0. Z, the set of integers. So, kapag integers, meron tayong negative numbers, positive numbers, of course, included yung 0. Q, or representation for rational numbers. So, ito yung mga number na terminating and repeating decimals. For example, 1.75. 1.25 ibig sabi nag end Q prime the set of irrational numbers ito yung mga numbers na non terminating or non repeating decimal so yung may mga pattern na di natatapos 1.2323232323 so ma yan yung mga example ng irrational numbers next R the set of real numbers. So, pag sinabing natin set of real numbers, so, included na lahat dyan. Yung natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational and irrational numbers. C, the set of complex numbers. So, ano yung mga complex numbers? Kapag, halimbawa, 
the square root of negative 5. So, wala naman, hindi naman pwede yon no? May negative sa loob ng radicals. So, yun ay mga example ng com complex numbers. So, yung may mga imaginary. Halimba, A plus B, I. So, yung I is representation for imaginary numbers. Okay. Here are the common symbols na ginagamit natin na kailangan maging familiar kayo dito. Kasi may encounter nyo ito while taking this course. So, dapat alam nyo yung mga iba pang symbols na ginagamit sa math. Okay, dapat ma-familiarize nyo yan. The grammar of mathematics. The mathematical notation used for formulas has its own grammar. Not dependent on a specific natural language, but shared internationally by mathemat mathematician, regardless of their mother tongue. So, sa ibang lugar para mas madaling maintindihan, dini discuss nila ang mathematics using their mother tongue, especially sa provinces. Halimbawa, yung square sa Tagalog parisukat, pero sa Bisaya kwadrado ang tawag. Kasama din dito in grammar of mathematics. Kung paano ta natin pinaprocess ang sagot natin using the formulas. So, paano ba natin ginagawa? We, uh, ang lagi natin ginagawa, nagsisimula lagi tayo from left to right. Di ba? Nagsasubtitute tayo ng formula lagi sa left, from left to right. For example, yung quadratic formula. So, saan ka magsa magsisimula ng substitution? Alangan naman sa uh, right. So, lagi nagsisimula sa left. Okay, characteristics of the mathematics language. Precise. Precise, this is you able to make very fine distinction or definition. Ibig sabihin, accurate, sakto. Concise, you able to say things briefly. Ibig sabihin, brief. Lang siya pero nandun na lahat. Di mo na kailangan elaborate. Para siyang summary. Powerful, you able to express complex thoughts with relative ease. So we have different perception in mathematics, and I know most of the student tag mathematics as the hardest subject. But honestly, we just don't realize that math is actually made our everyday, our everyday living easier. Okay, language in mathematics and language in English ay minsan contradicting dahil may mga word na ginagamit sa math na pagdating sa math may ibang kahulugan. For example, the word is sa mathematics, ang ibig sabihin niya that could mean equality, equal, inequality, or member in a set. Different use of a number, cardinal, ordinal, nominal, and ratio. Mathematical objects may be represented in many ways such as sets and function. The words and and or mean differently in mathematics from each English use. It's like for example, in sets, so ginagamit yung and for intersection. Yung or naman for union. This is for operation of sets. At ginagamit rin ito sa probability. So, marami pang mga word na uh, iba ang ibig sabihin sa grammar ng English pero pagdating sa mathematics, may iba siyang ibig sabihin. Depende sa usage, usage ng words. no? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.